If you ain't got your seatbelts on, buckle up. Because I'm going to say some stuff that Browns fans are not going to want to hear, including myself. So I'm kind of talking to myself in this say, uh, in this sense. But we did not need this, nor did we not want it, okay? Did we actually want it? Yes, of course we wanted JoJo to come back. But if you love the Cleveland Browns organization as much as I do, and you want what's best for this organization, as painful as it is to say, you did not want this to happen. This would have been nothing more than Brian Hoyer, Johnny Manziel 2.0. The only difference that that situation was is that this quarterback is 39 years old and already gave us the glimmer of hope as where Johnny Manziel was the potential uh, hope that he was going to be our savior. And if you thought that that cloud in that scenario and that situation was a, <laughs> a shit storm, because there have been players uh, upon players that have came out and talked about that situation. The season would have been a disaster. Let's be honest. This season would have not been as fun as it should be. Because week in and week out, there would be the divide, which there already is. is Oh my God, Deshaun Watson went 17 of 30 and threw two interceptions. It's time. It's time to bring in Flacco. And I get it. I'm not saying that you have to buy into Watson. I'm, saying, I'm not saying that you have to like Watson. We all know what the Watson situation is. But if you love the Browns. This is this is taking Watson out of the scenario. If you love the Browns, you know that having Joe Flacco would do no good for this team, which is exactly why if the reports are true, they didn't even attempt to offer Joe Flacco a contract because they understand the bigger picture. And I've mentioned this before in my past live where I talked about um it's weird to see the Browns on the upward trajectory because they usually do out of they don't usually do out of the norm stuff. They usually always, always find a way to listen to what the fans say. And for once in our lifetime, they aren't doing what the fans want, which means they are going in the right direction. Because for the past 20 plus years, it seems as if they have always found a way to listen to the crowd, which is Cleveland Brown fans. So I know it hurts and I know it sucks seeing him not in white and orange anymore and brown and orange, but it truly, truly is for the best for this organization.